Weirdly, one of my most popular videos this year was how to touch a guy. You ladies are such minxes. But in that video, I never told you ways to touch him, which is honestly more important than where to touch him because honestly, that's kind of obvious. So here are three subtle ways to touch a guy that will drive him absolutely crazy. Now there's an overarching theme here, and that is when you first start going out with a guy, I want you to touch him sensually but not too sexually. Sensuality builds tension and tension keeps him coming back for more. Too much sexuality breaks the tension and has him running off to the next floozy. Yep, I said it. I want him coming out of that first date, feeling the connection, feeling that spark, feeling excited, while at the same time thinking to himself, that is one classy lady. So for starters, when you go on a first date with a guy, when you meet him, I want you to hug him. Have you ever met someone and they're like, I'm such a hugger, and you're like, I'm not. And that's because outside of the dating world, hugging strangers is actually a little bit weird. But when you're going on a date, it's actually important to reframe this thinking a little bit because the point is to break the touch barrier and that's when sparks start to erupt. And the research shows that us humans, we are incredibly judgmental creatures. Within anywhere from 30 to about 60 seconds, we are deciding whether or not we like a person. And usually whatever it is that that we decide, we kind of stick to that decision for the lifetime of knowing that person. So the very first time you meet someone in real life, whether it's from the apps or however, make sure you give them that hug, build that personal connection, and you know what? You're gonna be building such deeper connections throughout your dating life. And if you wanna go ahead and give me one of those warm digital hugs, go ahead and give this video a like and make sure you subscribe because I got a lot more content coming your way. Now back on this hugging topic. A few years ago, I was on this really terrible television show called Kate Plus Date. And this is where I was helping Kate Gosselin go out and try to attract love. Now look, I never share intimate details about my clients or what happens, but since all of this was on a reality TV show and it's all on camera, I feel like I can share this story. It was a cold night in New York City and Kate was about to go on a date and we're sitting out there, we're shivering, it's actually starting to rain and I was outside just trying to get across this very important point and that was when you first see the guy, make sure you just give him a nice warm hug. And she was like, I would never hug a guy until I've gone out with him at least 10 times. And then I asked a really stupid question apparently. Well then how are you ever going to kiss? And then she said, kiss him? I would never kiss a man. And that's when I thought to myself, okay, maybe you just don't like men and this is a complete waste of time. Needless to say, I'm pretty sure she's still single. Number two is when you are on a first date and it's going well, lightly touch him on his arm or hand when he says something even remotely funny. I remember I was once on a date and the woman was pretty standoffish. I wasn't sure if she was really that into me. She wasn't really reacting to a lot that I was saying. But then I remember I said some ridiculously stupid joke, because all my jokes are honestly really stupid, and I said it, and she laughs, ha 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 ha, lightly touches my hand, and I thought to myself, okay, interesting, she's into this. One of the easiest ways to show a guy that you like him is by breaking that touch barrier. Be intentional about reaching out and breaking that touch barrier at appropriate times when you're dating. Otherwise, you are doomed to be in the friend zone. My name is Adam Littolce. I'm the creator of what we call the little love steps. And these are small intentional steps that get you in the right direction, attracting long lasting love. And when we get to little love step number four, that's when we are going on lots and lots of dates. And we teach you step by step what it is that you can say, what it is that you can do when you're on these dates to create a lasting impression. And if you want to learn all the little love steps, it's completely free. Just head on over to lovestrategies.com to get that free training. And the final point of this video is that when you want a guy to kiss you, just softly caress his neck or even his hair. The neck is actually an incredibly vulnerable area. I mean, have you ever gone to the doctors and had a doctor kind of touching your neck and you're kind of like, this is oddly intimate. And as humans, we've been evolved to not let people touch our neck unless we really trust them. So if you get to the point where you do really like a guy and you do want to take it to the next level and you're open to having him kiss you, just lightly touching these vulnerable areas such as his neck or his hair or even his inner wrist is going to send those massive signals that, hey, it's cool to give me some of those smooches. Have you ever touched or kissed a guy in the neck? Leave a comment right there below. So get out there, touch some guys, make some connections, and just have some fun in a classy, high-value way.